Hey trainers, I'm Frosty Caribou, and just like you, I'm a Pokemon collector. I know the feeling of opening packs, searching for your favorite cards in a set. But at some point, you might have more cards than you need for your collection. If you want to sell your excess Pokemon cards, or bulk, I have just the app for you. It's called TCG Bulk and it allows you to find the best trusted buyers near you to safely and easily sell your bulk. With this app, you can earn back some of the money you've invested into your collection. Okay, you might just want to spend that money again on Pokemon cards, but um, that's okay. So let me tell you all about it. First, you'll have to download TCG Bulk from the Play Store or the App Store. Then you'll create an account as a person. So select a username, enter your email, and think of a trusty password. You'll have to create a profile. So enter your name, select your country, and write down your address. You'll have to verify your email before you begin selling. So in your email box, look for a message from TCG Bulk. Once you activate your account, you'll be able to access the app. Now you can start selling your Pokemon Bulk. Stores can buy sorted or unsorted bulk. However, most prefer and pay more for pre-sorted cards, so I recommend you organize your cards before sending them out. Stores will also pay different rates according to the rarity of your cards. They'll specify if they want rare cards, commons, uncommons, hollow or non-hollow. They might also prefer cards in specific languages. In the main screen, you'll see a full list of stores. From there, you can choose the perfect store to sell your cards to. Take into consideration the types of cards they want, the minimum quantity required, and their rates. I recommend collecting a lot of bulk before you start selling, because most stores won't accept small quantities. The location of the store you pick is also very important, because the closer they are, the less you have to pay for shipping. Once you find the best store for you, click on sell and choose the type of cards you'll be sending. Now you need to tell the buyer how many cards you're selling and select apply. If you want to sell different types of cards, you can click on add more. Once you enter all of your cards, click on sell. You have the option to include insurance that protects your shipment in case it gets lost or damaged. Protecting your order with insurance is always recommended. Then place your order and confirm the submission. If the sale is within the store's budget, the transaction will automatically be approved and you'll get the shipping info. Now you can send out your package. It is your responsibility that all cards arrive safely because stores require near mint cards. This means that cards should look unplayed with nice corners and no damage. Once the store receives the package, they'll look over the cards and make sure they're in good condition. But don't worry, if you take care of your cards and pack them correctly, they will arrive safely. For shipping, you'll need sturdy boxes. One of the most cost-effective methods would be using USPS flat rate boxes. Cards can get damaged when they have space to shift around. So make sure you pack the cards tightly. You can use recycled paper or bubble wrap to fill the empty spaces in your containers. In case you have any doubts, I'll make a video explaining how to safely pack your cards. From here, the shipping process is completely up to you. Take your packages to the delivery company of your choosing. Once you've sent the cards, just tap back on the app and check your notifications. There, you'll find your pending orders. Select your order and click on insert tracking number. Here, you need to provide the buyer with the tracking number of your package and which shipping service you chose. Once the store receives your cards, they'll count and check them. If everything's in order, the store will finalize the process. In your account, you'll receive credits for your order. In order to redeem your credits, you'll have to add your PayPal account. Go to the menu in the top left corner and link your PayPal account. Once this is complete, you'll be able to receive your payments. This service makes it easier than ever for me to offload my excess Pokemon cards and reinvest that money back into my prized Pokemon collection. And now you can do the same with TCG Bulk.